All right, Oshkosh 2023 here at the Murphy Aircraft booth with something um, a little bit different and exciting, and that's Moose Mods here with Ray. Ray, introduce yourself and what you do at Moose Mods. Ryan, hi, good morning. I guess it's good afternoon already. Uh, I own a company called Moose Mods, and we take the basic Moose airframe, which is really a wonderful airplane, and really beef it up for our higher horsepower applications and a lot of the off-airport off things that we're using airplanes for these days. Awesome. And how many years have been in the process of uh, creating this engine for this modification? I started building my Moose back in 2010, and with a couple years of R&D on our engine package, I wrapped it up in 2016. And then from there, we started this business that just kind of created a life of its own, and we're having fun building a lot of cool airplanes. So you build engines and reduction units. Why the Murphy? I just like the idea that it's a big, robust airplane, and I can carry a lot of junk. You know, I started flying the backcountry uh, with the Blanca Scout, which I just loved, but it was limited in performance and hauling capability, and I just wanted more, and the Murphy Moose really is the only game in town as far as a good heavy-duty load-hauling backcountry airplane. Yeah, it's an all-metal, very robust-built aircraft, as you said, and let me tell you all, if you haven't seen one in person, the pictures and video do not give this thing justice. It is like a semi-tractor trailer with wings. It's, yeah. it's really a big fuselage a really a big aircraft which means it needs horsepower so what are the ranges of uh, horsepower if there are any of the, uh, the the v8 engine you build we use uh, three engine packages we have the 430 horse the 480 and the 525 the 480 is uh, kind of the sweet spot that's the one that i use in the bull moose and it's just a wonderful smooth running engine we use the 525 quite a bit for people that are going to live on floats and it just does a marvelous job so so what does this engine start out as 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 you buy it do you do you change the internals like how does it become what it becomes with you we buy brand new crate motors from GM and we don't change the guts on anything at all we change a lot of the outside accessories that are more uh, adaptable and applicable for our application so we change out the harmonic balancer we put in a mechanical throttle body we go to a high quality titanium sleeve wires and lots of other accessories just to make it a good usable package Okay. And engines are a hot topic always. Obviously, this is probably one of the biggest things I've ever covered because usually we're talking about lighter aircraft, but uh, it is a hot topic amongst a lot of people. Uh, being this is a developed engine, how many bench hours or air, air time hours have you gotten this before it's actually gotten into production and what we see here today? You know, on our fleet right now, we probably have about 500 operational hours uh, on the engine packages. We have probably four more aircraft that will launch sometime this year, so we're looking forward to getting a lot more fleet hours. But so far, we're just really pleased with the performance, and that LS engine, as most people know, is just about as bulletproof as they come. So we've worked hard just to make sure that all of our components play well together, and we're very happy with the result. All right, speaking of components, what is, uh, first off, the, um, the RPMs that you operate at, both in takeoff and cruise, and then the, uh, the ratio of the gearbox, and then tell me about the gearbox that you've constructed. Uh, our takeoff RPM is 5,200. Uh, cruise RPM is 4,000. We have a 2.1 to 1 gear reduction ratio, and that gives us about a 1,950 RPM on the prop. Uh, we now own what used to be known as the CAM 500 gearbox out of Canada. It was developed about 20 years ago, very good, robust unit. Uh, just because of a lot of the over-the-border issues and challenges, we're moving production to the U.S. We're looking at upgrading some of the components in terms of alloys. So we're just absolutely assuring it's totally aerospace quality. And being that we are talking about engines here and packages, um, what is the total weight of a ready-to-run engine package? Uh, a bolt-on engine package, including the engine mount and cooling systems, right at about 500 pounds. So it's plus or minus 5 or 10 pounds of a Lycoming IO540. In comparison, the only thing we can really compare this kind of power to is a turbine. Right. And what would a turbine weigh in the power, put out, uh, power output of that? Uh, that's probably a better question for a friend of mine next door who has a turbine. Um, I, I think his weight is a little bit less, but he's got a longer nose to accommodate that. Uh, basically, as much as I love that turbine, it's, it's hard for me to justify it. We are probably about 50% of the acquisition firewall forward cost. Uh, we're within about 10% of the performance numbers and about 50% operational cost. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net. South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com. Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com. Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no. 
Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, and so much more. Obviously, you've focused on the Murphy for your application with this and have done very well with it. Have you worked out other applications yet uh, via like firewall forward mm -hmm. kits, and what would that be? Uh, great question. In fact, in our shop right now, we have two early Cessna 182s that we're putting our LS engine package on, one of which is getting supercharging as well. This guy wants to fly high through the west. And we're looking at a lot of the early legacy Cessna 180s, 182s, 205s, 206s, and then we're getting a lot of calls from people that have uh, Helios and Wilgos and uh, any number of good solid backcountry airplanes. And we're looking at putting all of those into experimental exhibition category. So we're kind of waiting for that flood to happen. We're, we're going to be really busy with a lot of the formerly um, certified aircraft. I think that's going to be, become a big part of our business. So honestly, I'm hearing more and more about that people like through the grapevine, I'm hearing that are converting from a certified to experimental. Uh, knowing other people in that space, is that really a difficult process to do or? Uh, not difficult at all. Um, there's, you know, a few hoops to jump through, but it's far more, um, lenient and unregulated than it used to be. It used to be a category, as you probably know, mainly for imported warbirds, and it was pretty restrictive. Now, uh, they certainly want you to take an air show, show it off, but you can do all the proficiency flying, that's what they call it, that you want. You can take people and do your proficiency flying and go camping. So it's just, it's a really good category to have opened up for us. Awesome. Well, I'll have to dive in deeper, maybe do a separate episode just on that itself. Um, going back to your engine here, obviously you're in production now, yes. um, so you can give us a good number. What is the the options and price points for your engine? Our price points on the three engine packages run between sixty and about sixty two thousand dollars. And uh, since we're moving, we have one gearbox left right now we, from our Canadian production. Uh, we're probably honestly six months out from uh, being able to get new production going on our packages but very confident that's all coming together nicely with some really quality vendors. And ongoing, what does it look like for uh, service and parts and, and tech support? How does that uh, how's that worked out for you guys? Uh, we have a, a guy in our shop, uh, Ryan Brantner, who's doing a wonderful job of providing tech support on our engine packages. And in terms of parts and service, Napa works really well. <laughs> you know, And O'Reilly and all those folks, uh, they help us out a lot. They all have aviation departments, they just don't know it. You know, So we buy right. a lot of parts from them. All right, and tell everybody again where exactly you're located, and also there's some expansion about to happen, I think. That's correct. We are located north of Spokane, Washington, in Chewila. Our airport is one Sierra Niner, and we're just getting ready to dig dirt for a new 10,000-square-foot facility on our airfield, and we really hope to get moved in before snow. But uh, we've got a really good solid staff of seven people now helping with these builds. We'll probably be adding uh, two or three more good production staff as we go early next year. Uh, just a heads up footnote, we're going to need some more help. Awesome. That's always a good thing. I love to hear anybody growing and being successful in aviation that creates uh, a good product. So yeah, you know, I'd, I'd like to put a little plug in for Murphy Aircraft. You know, they're under new ownership in the last year and a half or so, and they have done a heck of a good job providing us with product support. We're anticipating they'll be producing new moose kits right around the first of the year. And uh, so we're, we're really pleased. And we just have a, a sense of the groundswell market interest for the moose, and it's been tough to support it. But now they're doing a really good job for us, and we're really thrilled to have more moose becoming available. I'm happy to hear about that, too. Well, thanks for giving us a few minutes of your day you to talk about your product and where we can find you. So what is all of your, your contacts, uh, spots on uh, social media and website and stuff? Uh, our website's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, moosemods.com and lsaeroengines.com. And I have been very remiss with a lot of uh, social media presence. Uh, my, uh, my new assistant, Kristen, is here, and she's being helpful to get us out there. So watch for us more over the next few months. Sounds good.